Hello folks, welcome to my greenhouse here on the north end of Salt Spring Island. And uh, we're just going to do a little update on the uh, seed germination using the baggy method. So I kind of grow palms on a large scale using seed flats in my greenhouse. There are uh, uh, thousands of Trachycarpus fortunae in uh, seed flats here. Excuse the brown uh, leaf tips because I didn't water them every single day, which I probably should have. And more germinating down here. I estimate there's probably about 14,000 or so seedlings in here and I've been pulling them out and uh, selling them and potting them up. But anyway, what I have here is a Ziploc baggie with some uh, Sable Miner seed that I put in it in January 2015, earlier this year, that I got from my buddy uh, Austin down in Arkansas and uh, put the seeds in some uh, Sunshine Mix 4, moisten the Sunshine Mix 4 down and sun Sunshine Mix 4 is basically peat moss with quite a bit of perlite in it. It's uh, the same as uh, Promix HP High Porosity. And uh, you can see it gets pretty warm in here. I had these on the lower shelf. Brought them up, but you can see they've all germinated. You can see the uh, seedlings in there. So it's time to take these things out. And I just uh, dumped the whole bag out because the roots are kind of intertangled there and intertwined. And I put them into uh, 2.5 inch uh, liner size pots. And this is what they look like. And they grow in the pots. Let's grab a nice one here. There's one right there. There's a nice sable miner right there. 2.5 inch liner size pot. Razorback from Warren County, Arkansas, folks. That is a uh, sable miner native to the southeast corner of the Razorback state. And I do have hundreds of them in here. Thank you, Austin. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to take these out of this baggie and pot them into uh, liner size pots and uh, put them in a seed tray and let them grow. And I have a lot of Transplanting, you do. I have lots of McCurtain here from Oklahoma and uh, some other species of sables I got to get out of here and pot up ASAP. So, anyway, thanks for watching, folks. And uh, grab that camera and we'll just give you a close up look at the bag. There you go, right there. That's the baggy method, right there. Really easy to germinate palm seeds that way. You uh, put your seeds in there and make sure there's some moisture, put the date on it, type of seeds they are, and uh, zip that shut. Put it in a uh, place where it's not in full sun, nice and warm, and they will germinate for you. And I've actually had some of them poke through the Ziploc baggie. So, all right, that's all, folks. Aloha.